In the heart of every long-term relationship lies a story. A story that began with a spark, an undeniable attraction that promised adventure, warmth, and the intertwining of two lives. Yet, as the chapters unfold, the initial blaze that once lit up the night sky can sometimes dim, leaving couples yearning for the brightness of the early days. But fear not, for the art of rekindling that spark is a tale as old as time, woven with strategies that breathe life back into love's embers. Understanding human nature, as taught by the ancient philosopher Gaguzi, is pivotal in this quest. People change over time, and with them, their desires, aspirations, and what makes them tick. Recognizing these changes, and embracing them, is the first step in reigniting the flame. It's about seeing your partner with new eyes, appreciating the person they've become, and falling in love all over again. Mastery of Speech, another gem from Gaguzi, plays a crucial role in rekindling love. Communication, the bridge connecting two hearts, needs to be nurtured. It's not just about what is said, but how it's said. Paying compliments, expressing gratitude, and articulating love and desires openly can transform the climate of a relationship. Remember, it's the small acknowledgments and affirmations that fan the flames of love. Utilization of rhetorical techniques can also pave the way to a rejuvenated relationship. Persuasion, in this context, is about convincing your partner and yourself that the spark hasn't died, it's merely waiting to be reawakened. Emotional appeals, like reminiscing about shared memories or dreams, can be powerful. They remind both partners of their journey together and why they chose each other in the first place. The role of emotions in persuasion is undeniable. Emotional intelligence, the capacity to be aware of, control, and express one's emotions, and to handle interpersonal relationships judiciously and empathetically, is at the heart of rekindling romance. Acknowledging and addressing emotional needs and vulnerabilities strengthens bonds and reignites passion. Adaptability in communication is essential. Just as every story needs variation to keep the reader engaged, every relationship needs adaptability to keep the spark alive. This might mean changing how you spend quality time together, finding new hobbies, or even altering communication styles to ensure both partners feel heard and valued. Integration of real-life samples can significantly enhance the narrative of rekindled love. Consider James and Sarah, who after 10 years of marriage, felt the spark fading. They decided to embark on a relationship sabbatical, spending time apart to pursue individual interests. This period of separation, peppered with communication that employed all the above strategies, led them to rediscover themselves and each other, coming back together with a stronger, brighter flame. Skillful deployment of idioms can add color to the communication within a relationship. Phrases like lighting a fire under the relationship or keeping the home fires burning are not just words, but powerful reminders of the energy and effort required to maintain the warmth and brightness of love. In conclusion, rekindling the spark in a long-term relationship is an art form guided by ancient wisdom and modern insights. It requires understanding, communication, adaptability, and emotional intelligence. Like any good story, it demands attention to detail patience, and a willingness to navigate the twists and turns. But above all, it needs two people, committed to reigniting the flame, ready to write the next chapter of their love story together. In the tapestry of life, few threads are as vivid and enduring as the ones that connect two souls. The journey from the first date to the realm of soulmates is a path less trodden, a path that demands understanding, patience, and a sprinkle of wisdom from the ancient Chinese philosophy penned by Gaguzi. Our tale begins on a crisp autumn evening, under the glow of a street lamp, where two hearts met, unaware of the adventure that lay ahead. This isn't just a story of romance, it's a lesson in the art of connection, a narrative embroidered with the teachings of Gaguzi, aiming to guide and inspire. Understanding Human Nature Anna and Max's first encounter was like any other, filled with the usual pleasantries and small talk. But what set their interaction apart was Anna's innate ability to listen, genuinely and attentively. She understood that, as Gaguzi teaches, knowing the complexities of human behavior is the first step toward building a connection. 
She noticed Max's passion for music, his slight discomfort when talking about his job, and his brightened expression when discussing his dreams. It was this understanding that paved the way for a deeper conversation. Mastery of Speech Communication is an art, and the first date is its canvas. Anna and Max quickly realized that to make their canvas vibrant, they needed to master their speech. They learned to share their thoughts in a way that was authentic and sincere, adapting their storytelling to make each other feel seen and heard. This wasn't just about exchanging words, it was about creating a space where those words could live and breathe, drawing from Gaguzzi's teaching on the importance of tailoring speech to the occasion. Utilization of Rhetorical Techniques As their relationship blossomed, Anna and Max faced challenges, as all couples do. But they had a secret weapon, the rhetorical techniques inspired by Gaguzzi. They knew the power of emotional appeals in resolving conflicts and the importance of logical argumentation in making joint decisions. The discussions were never about winning, they were about understanding and finding common ground, using persuasion as a tool for harmony rather than division. Discernment between truth and falsehood. Trust is the cornerstone of any lasting relationship. Anna and Max learned early on to value honesty, guided by Gaguzzi's principle of discerning truth from falsehood. They promised to be transparent with each other, even when the truth was uncomfortable. This created a foundation of trust that proved to be unshakable over time. Role of Emotions Emotions are powerful, they can both elevate and complicate relationships. Anna and Max embraced their emotional connection, understanding that feelings should be acknowledged, not ignored. By applying Gaguzzi's teachings, they learned to navigate their emotions intelligently, ensuring that their relationship was a source of joy and strength, rather than instability. Adaptability in Communication No two days are the same, and no relationship is static. Anna and Max's ability to adapt their communication styles as their relationship evolved was crucial. They understood that change is inevitable and that being flexible in how they communicated with each other was key to growing together, rather than apart. Our story of Anna and Max is a testament to the building blocks of a lasting connection. Their journey from the first date to becoming soulmates wasn't just about love, it was about applying the timeless wisdom of Gaguzzi to understand, communicate, and connect on a deeper level. In every word shared, every conflict resolved, and every dream supported, they found the essence of a lasting connection. It's a journey that many embark on, but few navigate successfully. Through understanding human nature, mastering speech, employing rhetorical techniques, discerning truth, embracing emotions, and adapting communication, the path from a first date to soulmate becomes not just possible, but fulfilling. Let their story be a beacon guiding through the complexities of connection with the wisdom of the ancients. For in the art of building a lasting relationship, the teachings of Gaguzi are as relevant today as they were centuries ago, reminding us that at the heart of every enduring connection lies the timeless dance of understanding, communication, and adaptation. In the tapestry of life, relationships are the threads that add color, bringing with them a spectrum of experiences. However, like any masterpiece, they require care, dedication, and sometimes, a touch of magic to maintain their brilliance. In today's fast-paced world, where misunderstandings can escalate quickly, communication becomes that magic essential for sustaining relationships. Drawing inspiration from Gaguzzi's ancient Chinese philosophy, we explore the art of communication, not just as a means of expression, but as a vessel for understanding, connection, and ultimately, relationship preservation. Understanding human nature, the foundation. At the heart of every relationship lies the complex web of human nature. Understanding your partner's desires, fears, and motivations is akin to possessing a map in the vast ocean of companionship. When we navigate through the waves of emotions with this understanding, our words become lighthouses, guiding us to shore. This comprehension allows us to tailor our conversations, ensuring they are not just heard, but felt. Mastery of Speech, The Compass Communication in relationships is not a one-size-fits-all, it's a dynamic interplay of words, silence, and everything in between. Like a compass in the hands of a seasoned sailor, mastery of speech guides us. 
It's knowing when to speak words of encouragement, when to voice concerns, and when silence offers the loudest support. This mastery ensures that our words build bridges rather than walls, fostering a deeper connection. Utilization of rhetorical techniques, the sales. To persuade and connect with our partners, we must set the sails of our conversation with care. Rhetorical techniques, when used thoughtfully, can steer discussions away from the rocks of confrontation towards the calm waters of mutual understanding. Anecdotes, for instance, can serve as gentle breezes, propelling conversations forward. They can transform abstract disagreements into tangible scenarios, making it easier to navigate through difficult topics. Discernment between truth and falsehood, the anchor. In the ebb and flow of dialogue, discernment acts as the anchor, grounding conversations in honesty and trust. It's about recognizing the undercurrents of truth in what is said and unsaid. In relationships, this discernment fosters an environment where both individuals feel valued and understood, laying the foundation for a bond that can wither any storm. Role of Emotions, the Current Emotions, like currents, underpin the flow of communication. Acknowledging and addressing these emotions is paramount. When we understand the emotional context from which our partner speaks, we not only hear their words, but also feel their sentiments. This empathetic approach can diffuse tensions, turning potential conflicts into moments of connection. Adaptability in communication, the navigation. No sea is ever the same. Similarly, no conversation in a relationship follows a predetermined route. Adaptability, the ability to adjust our communicative approach based on the situation and our partner's needs, is crucial. It's about choosing the right moment, the right words, and the right tone, ensuring that our message not only reaches but resonates with our partner. Integrating real-life samples, the voyage. Real-life examples can serve as waypoints, guiding us through the complexities of relationship communication. Consider the couple who, by sharing daily highlights, fostered a tradition of appreciation and acknowledgement. Or the partners who, through active listening, transformed their conflicts into opportunities for growth. These stories are beacons, illuminating the path to effective communication. In conclusion, navigating the rough waters of relationships requires more than love, it demands the art of communication. By understanding human nature, mastering speech, employing rhetorical techniques, discerning truth, acknowledging emotions, and adapting our approach, we can strengthen our connections. Let us then, inspired by the wisdom of Giguzi, embark on this voyage with our partners, steering our relationships towards the harbors of understanding, respect, and enduring love. In the tapestry of human connection, two threads often intertwine creating patterns of love and comfort that drape over our lives. The distinction between these two emotions, though subtle, is profound. Much like the ancient wisdom found in Giguzi, which teaches us the art of discernment between truth and falsehood. This narrative ventures into the depths of relationships. Employing Giguzi's principles, idiomatic expressions, and real-life examples to explore whether we are weaving a pattern of love or one of comfort. Understanding human nature is paramount in deciphering the language of our relationships. Love, in its purest form, is a fiery dance of emotions, a testament to human connection that transcends the mundane. Comfort, on the other hand, is the warm embrace of familiarity, a safe haven from the tempests of life. A bird in hand is worth two in the bush, as the idiom goes, perfectly encapsulates the choice many face between the thrill of passionate love and the secure embrace of comfort. Mastery of speech and the utilization of rhetorical techniques, as taught by Gaguzi, play a critical role in the expression of our deepest emotions. In relationships, communication is the vessel that carries our feelings, desires, and fears. The way we express love or seek comfort reveals the essence of our bonds. A partner whispering sweet nothings is employing the art of persuasion, aiming to deepen the emotional connection, while a companion expressing gratitude for shared mundane tasks highlights the value of comfort in shared life's burdens. The discernment between truth and falsehood is crucial when navigating the seas of love and comfort. Love, in its truest form, is selfless and giving, while comfort might masquerade as love, hiding under layers of convenience and fear of loneliness. 
It's akin to separating wheat from chaff, understanding that genuine affection goes beyond mere companionship. Emotions, as underscored by Gaguzi, play a pivotal role in the dynamics of relationships. Love can be a tumultuous storm of feelings, evoking joy and pain in equal measure, while comfort is the calm sea that soothes but might not inspire. The emotional landscape of our relationships is rich and varied, requiring us to navigate it with empathy and understanding. Adaptability in communication is essential in nurturing either love or comfort. Like a chameleon changes its colors, we must adapt our ways of expressing emotions to suit the evolving phases of our relationships. This flexibility ensures that our bonds deepen, whether they are rooted in the exhilarating promise of love or the reassuring embrace of comfort. Real-life examples the bound of couples who have found a harmonious balance between love and comfort. Take, for instance, the story of Maya and Alex, who, after years of fiery romance, have settled into a comfortable routine. Their love, though less dramatic, is no less profound, illustrating that love and comfort can coexist, enriching each other. In conclusion, the language of our relationships is complex, a dialect of emotions that speaks volumes of our human experience. Whether we are drawn to the tempest of love or seek solace in the harbor of comfort, understanding the nuances of our bonds is the key to unlocking a fulfilling connection. Let us weave our relationships with the wisdom of Gaguzi, discerning the patterns of love and comfort that envelop our lives, for in the end, it's the tapestry we create together that truly matters. In the tapestry of human experience, the threads of love and conflict are often closely intertwined, creating patterns that are as complex as they are beautiful. It's a truth as old as time, where there is love. There will inevitably be disagreements. Yet, it's not the presence of conflict that defines the strength of a relationship, but the ability to navigate through these turbulent waters to the serene shores of reconciliation. This journey, much like the ancient art of persuasion taught by Gaguzi, requires a deep understanding of human nature, mastery of communication, and an adept use of emotional intelligence. Understanding human nature, the first step to reconciliation. At the heart of every disagreement lies a plethora of unspoken emotions, unmet needs, and misunderstood intentions. Just as Gaguzi emphasizes the importance of understanding human nature to influence others, the first step in resolving conflicts in love is to strive to understand your partner's perspective. It's about peeling back the layers of hurt and frustration, to reveal the vulnerable human underneath, seeking to be heard and understood. This understanding bridges the gap between hearts, softening the ground for reconciliation. Mastery of speech Choosing words that heal, not wound. Words, when wielded with skill and care, have the power to heal the deepest of wounds. In the heat of the moment, it's tempting to let hurtful words slip. Words that act like arrows, leaving long-lasting scars. However, drawing from Gaguzi's teachings on the mastery of speech, it's crucial to remember that each situation demands a different type of communication. In moments of conflict, words should be chosen for their healing power, for their ability to convey love, regret, and the desire to make amends. This mastery over the art of speaking kindly, even when emotions run high, paves the way for meaningful conversations that lead to reconciliation. Utilization of rhetorical techniques, the power of emotional appeals. Emotions are the lifeblood of any relationship, and their role in reconciliation cannot be overstated. Gaguzi's principles highlight the significance of appealing to emotions to persuade and influence. In the context of a relationship, this translates to expressing your own vulnerabilities and allowing your partner to share theirs. It's about creating a safe space where emotions can be expressed freely without fear of judgment. This emotional exchange fosters empathy, a powerful catalyst for reconciliation. Adaptability in communication, tailoring your approach. Just as no two people are the same, no two conflicts are identical. Drawing from Gaguzi's teachings on adaptability and communication, it's clear that the path to reconciliation requires a tailored approach. One that considers the unique dynamics of your relationship and the specific context of the disagreement. It's about being flexible in your approach, willing to compromise, 
and open to finding creative solutions that address the needs of both partners. Integration of real-life samples, learning from others. The stories of others can serve as powerful mirrors, reflecting back to us the lessons we need to learn. By integrating real-life examples of couples who have navigated through the stormy seas of conflict. To find reconciliation, we can glean insights into the strategies that work and the pitfalls to avoid. These stories, rich with the wisdom of experience, can guide us on our own journey towards understanding, forgiveness, and ultimately, reconciliation. In the end, building bridges, not walls, and love is an art form. One that demands patience, understanding, and the willingness to grow together. By applying the ancient teachings of Gaguzi to the modern context of relationships, we equip ourselves with the tools needed to turn conflict into an opportunity for deepening the bonds of love. After all, it is through overcoming challenges together that love is truly tested and its depth revealed. In this light, every disagreement, every tear shed and frustration becomes a stepping stone towards a stronger, more resilient relationship. In the dance of life, money often leads the tango. Its rhythm dictating the ebb and flow of relationships. Its tempo capable of both harmonizing and dividing partners. As a master raconteur, I've seen tales of love both flourish and falter. Under the weight of financial habits. Illustrating the timeless wisdom of Gaguzi. Understanding human nature is paramount. Like the engaging start of a late-night show monologue. Let's kick off with a truth universally acknowledged yet seldom discussed at the dinner table. Money talks. But the language it speaks? That depends on the interpreters. Our partners and us. In a world where love and finance often collide. Understanding the nuances of this language is not just beneficial but essential. At the heart of every financial decision lies a complex web of emotions, beliefs, and experiences. It's here that Gaguzi's teachings illuminate our path. Recognizing that every spending habit, saving strategy, or investment choice is a reflection of deeper personal values and fears. We begin to see our partner not as an adversary in budgetary battles, but as an ally with shared dreams and sometimes differing methods of achieving them. Communication, as any late-night host knows, is key. The art of discussing finances with your partner isn't just about numbers. It's about sharing hopes, vulnerabilities, and goals. It's about employing the right tone, timing, and tenor to turn potentially divisive conversations into opportunities for deeper connection. Imagine weaving emotional stories that resonate, logical arguments that convince and ethical considerations that build trust all within a single conversation about your financial future. This isn't just effective rhetoric, it's the foundation of a partnership where financial discussions strengthen bonds rather than strain them. In financial matters, transparency is paramount. The ability to differentiate between what is real and what is a facade in your partner's financial dealings and vice versa fosters trust. Money conversations are charged with emotions. Recognizing and responding to these emotional undercurrents is where adaptability and communication becomes critical. It's about adjusting your approach based on the situation and your partner's emotional state. Ensuring that the conversation is constructive, not combative. Just as a well-placed idiom can enrich a narrative, so too can real-life examples illuminate the discussion of financial habits. Consider the tale of a couple who, by setting financial date nights, transformed their budget talks from sources of stress into opportunities for connection and mutual goal setting. Such stories not only provide practical examples, but also demonstrate that it's possible to navigate financial discussions with both love and strategy. In the end, the dance of finances in a relationship is much like the stories I craft. Filled with moments of tension, triumph, and transformation. It's a journey that, when approached with understanding, communication, and adaptability, can lead to a deeper partnership built on trust and shared dreams. Remember, in the symphony of life, it's not just about finding the right notes or numbers, but about creating harmony together. 
love, and emotion as old as humanity itself, weaves through our lives, creating tapestries of memories and emotions. But have you ever paused to wonder about the science behind this powerful feeling? Today, let's embark on a narrative journey to unravel the chemistry of love, guided by ancient wisdom and modern science, ensuring we keep our storytelling within the confines of ethical and legal boundaries. At the heart of love's chemistry are neurotransmitters, those tiny messengers in our brain that dictate how we feel. Dopamine, often called the feel-good neurotransmitter, plays a starring role in the sensation we recognize as love. When we fall in love, our brain gets flooded with dopamine, giving us bursts of happiness and pleasure, akin to the euphoria one might feel from a dose of cocaine. Yes, love can be intoxicating, quite literally. But dopamine is just one piece of the puzzle. Serotonin, another neurotransmitter, dips in levels when we're in love, leading to those obsessive thoughts about our beloved. It's like the ancient Chinese philosophy articulated in Gaguzi, understanding human nature is crucial. Here, science and ancient wisdom converge, highlighting how our emotions and behaviors are deeply intertwined with the natural chemicals in our brains. Then there's oxytocin, dubbed the cuddle hormone. This neurotransmitter reinforces the bonds between us, be it through a hug, kiss, or more intimate connections. It's oxytocin that underpins the feelings of closeness and attachment that develop in a loving relationship. It's a vivid example of how mastering speech and communication, as taught in Gaguzi, isn't limited to words. Sometimes, the most powerful messages are those conveyed through touch and presence. What's fascinating is how these chemicals don't act in isolation. They're part of a symphony, each playing its part at different stages of love, from the initial spark of attraction to the deep, enduring bonds of long-term companionship. This symphony, much like the narratives we craft, evolves, bringing forth a roller coaster of emotions. It's a testament to the adaptability in communication, a principle from Gaguzi, reminding us that love, too, requires flexibility and understanding as it transforms over time. Moreover, the impact of love isn't just confined to our emotional well-being. Studies have shown that being in a loving relationship can have tangible health benefits, from lower stress levels to improved heart health. It's as if by understanding and nurturing our connections, we're not just enriching our emotional lives, but fortifying our physical health as well. In weaving through the narrative of love's chemistry, we're reminded of the power of idioms like heart skips a beat or butterflies in the stomach. These phrases, enriched with the wisdom of ages and the knowledge of science, encapsulate the profound effects love has on us, both physically and emotionally. They echo the teachings from Gaguzi about the mastery of speech and the role of emotions, illustrating how ancient wisdom still holds relevance in our modern understanding of human experiences. In conclusion, the chemistry of love is a complex, beautiful dance of neurotransmitters, emotions, and connections. It's a dance that underscores the importance of understanding human nature, the mastery of communication, and the adaptability required in nurturing relationships. As we reflect on the science behind our connections, we're reminded of the timeless wisdom of Gaguzi, bridging the gap between ancient philosophy and modern science in understanding the most powerful emotion of all, love. In the grand tapestry of life, every individual thread is vibrant with its own color, texture, and pattern. These threads weave together, forming relationships, communities, and societies. But in this intricate interlacing, how does one ensure that their unique hue doesn't fade into the background? The answer lies not just in the art of standing out, but in the mastery of blending in without losing one's essence. This narrative, inspired by the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi and enriched with idiomatic expressions and real-life examples, explores the journey from me to we emphasizing the importance of maintaining individual identity while becoming part of something bigger. Imagine walking into a room full of people. Each person is a story, an island of experiences. Now, to engage and connect with them, one must understand the core principle of Gaguzi, understanding human nature. It's like knowing which strings to pull in a complex marionette to make it dance gracefully. By grasping what drives people, what fears tug at their hearts, and what dreams light up their eyes, you can navigate the room not just as another face, but as a memorable character in their evening's tale. 
Take, for instance, the story of Ella, a young entrepreneur who stepped into the ferocious arena of technology startups. In a field where the echo of one's voice could easily be drowned by the cacophony of established giants, Ella knew she had to master her speech, as advised by Gaguzi. She tailored her pitches, not with jargon that flew over heads, but with stories that resonated with human experiences and aspirations. Her ability to adapt her communication style to her audience, whether it was investors, customers, or her own team, made her stand out. She was like a chameleon, blending and yet remaining distinct. In building her startup, Ella also demonstrated the Gaguzi principle of utilizing rhetorical techniques. She knew when to use logos to appeal to logic, pathos to evoke emotion, and ethos to establish credibility. For instance, when negotiating partnerships, she shared a narrative of how her grandmother's struggle with accessibility to healthcare inspired her venture. This did not just present data, it tugged at heartstrings, making her cause relatable and her vision compelling. Ella's journey exemplifies the balance between uniqueness and engagement. She respected copyright rules, ensuring her product innovations were ethically grounded. Her narratives, though unique, were meticulously crafted to connect with her audience, much like how idioms add flavor to language without obscuring its meaning. For instance, saying her journey was not all roses candidly expressed the challenges she faced without dwelling on specifics, making her story relatable yet inspiring. Her adaptability in communication, a vital skill highlighted by Gaguzi, was evident when she pivoted her business model in response to market feedback. It was a testament to the principle of discerning between truth and falsehood, knowing which critiques to take to heart and which to let slide off like water on a duck's back. Incorporating real-life samples into her narrative, Ella often spoke at forums, sharing how other entrepreneurs influenced her path. She didn't just talk about her successes, she highlighted her setbacks and how they were stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks. This integration of real-life examples enhanced her credibility and facilitated a deeper connection with her audience. The tale of Ella is a beacon for anyone trying to navigate the balance between me and we. It showcases that blending into a larger narrative without losing one's identity is not just about standing out. It's about understanding the dance of human interactions, mastering the art of communication, and being adaptable without losing sight of one's essence. It's about being a thread in the tapestry that adds to its beauty without getting lost in the weave. In conclusion, the journey from me to we is a delicate balancing act, one that demands a deep understanding of oneself and others. By applying the timeless wisdom of Gaguzi, enriched with the art of storytelling and real-life experiences, one can navigate this path successfully. It is about merging paths without losing your identity, about being a distinct hue in a colorful mosaic, contributing to a larger picture while retaining your brilliance. In the tapestry of human interaction, the threads that weave the strongest bonds often go unnoticed. These threads, invisible yet palpable, are spun from the yarn of emotional intelligence. It's a concept that may seem nebulous to some, yet it is as concrete as the ground beneath our feet when it comes to forging connections that last a lifetime. This narrative, inspired by the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi and the engaging storytelling style of late-night show hosts, will explore how understanding and leveraging emotional intelligence can strengthen the ties that bind us. Emotional intelligence, at its core, involves understanding one's own emotions and the emotions of others. It's about navigating the complex web of human feelings with grace and empathy. But how does this relate to strengthening bonds, you might ask? The answer lies in the ancient teachings of Gaguzi, which emphasize the importance of understanding human nature and the role of emotions in persuasion. Let's consider a real-life example. Think about a time when a friend or family member came to you upset or frustrated. The way you responded in that moment, whether with empathy, advice, or simply a listening ear, had the power to either strengthen or weaken your bond. By tuning into their emotional state and responding appropriately, you were practicing emotional intelligence. In the realm of human interaction, mastery of speech, as advocated by Gaguzi, plays a pivotal role. Different situations call for different types of communication. A well-timed joke can lighten the mood, while a heartfelt compliment can fortify a relationship. 
The key is adaptability, knowing when to employ humor, when to offer advice, and when to simply listen. The utilization of rhetorical techniques also comes into play. Emotional appeals, for instance, can be incredibly powerful. Sharing personal stories or expressing genuine concern can make others feel seen and heard, creating a sense of closeness and trust. It's about striking the right balance, ensuring that our words are both genuine and impactful. But understanding emotions is only half the battle. The ability to discern between truth and falsehood is equally important. In any relationship, trust is foundational. Being able to communicate honestly and transparently, even when it's difficult, reinforces the strength of our connections. Finally, the teachings of Gaguzi highlight the significance of tailoring one's approach to different individuals and situations. Just as a skilled tailor adjusts their technique based on the fabric they're working with, we must adjust our communication style based on the person we're interacting with. This adaptability is a hallmark of emotional intelligence and a key factor in building strong relationships. In weaving idioms into our narrative, let's consider the saying, a stitch in time saves nine. In the context of relationships, addressing emotional needs and conflicts early on can prevent larger issues down the line. By practicing emotional intelligence, we're essentially stitching our relationships tightly together, ensuring they're robust and resilient. To sum up, the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, combined with a modern understanding of emotional intelligence, offers invaluable insights into strengthening the unseen ties that bind us. By mastering speech, employing rhetorical techniques, discerning truth from falsehood, and tailoring our approach to individual needs, we can forge connections that are not only strong but also deeply meaningful. Emotional intelligence, it turns out, is the thread that holds the fabric of human relationships together. In a world that often feels disconnected, it's a skill worth cultivating. In the digital age, where screens often serve as the windows to our souls, the quest for authentic connection has become a labyrinth of likes, shares, and retweets. The art of maintaining a genuine bond amidst the cacophony of social media notifications seems as ancient and lost as a scroll of wisdom. Yet, nestled within this modern conundrum lies an opportunity to wield the timeless teachings of Gaguzi, merging ancient philosophy with the digital era's challenges. Understanding human nature, at its core, love thrives on understanding and empathy, elements deeply rooted in the essence of human nature. Social media, with its arsenal of curated personas, often masks the raw, unfiltered realities of our lives. To foster a connection that transcends the digital facade, one must endeavor to see beyond the perfectly filtered photos and witty statuses. Remember, it's the imperfections, not the idealized snapshots, that weave the rich tapestry of a true relationship. Mastery of speech, in a realm where communication is often limited to 280 characters, mastering the art of speech becomes paramount. The digital age, while limiting an expression, provides a plethora of platforms to convey heartfelt messages. Whether it's through a thoughtful comment, a heartfelt message, or a shared meme that encapsulates an inside joke, the key lies in personalizing your communication. Tailor your words to resonate with your loved one, ensuring they feel seen, heard, and valued. Utilization of rhetorical techniques, persuasion, in the context of love and social media, isn't about manipulation. Instead, it's about convincing your partner of your genuine interest and affection amidst the digital noise. Emotional appeals, such as expressing how their presence uplifts your day or sharing a memory that made you appreciate them more, can fortify your bond. Logical argumentation, like discussing plans and dreams, can also strengthen your connection, fostering a shared vision for the future. Discernment between truth and falsehood, in the age of catfishing and digital personas, being able to differentiate between what's real and what's fabricated is crucial. This discernment extends beyond avoiding deceit. It's about recognizing and appreciating your partner's authenticity. Celebrate their true self and encourage openness by providing a safe, judgment-free space. After all, authenticity is the cornerstone of any strong relationship. Role of emotions, emotions, the lifeblood of any relationship, are often diluted in digital communication. Yet, their role cannot be understated. 
sharing your feelings, whether it's joy, sadness, or frustration, can help maintain an emotional connection. Use social media to celebrate successes and offer support during tough times. Remember, it's the emotional investment that counts, not the platform. Adaptability in communication, each relationship is unique, and so should be the way we communicate within it. Some may find love letters in the form of long emails romantic, while others might treasure a simple thinking of you text. Be adaptable in your communication style, respecting your partner's preferences and comfort levels. This flexibility demonstrates your commitment to nurturing the relationship on both digital and personal fronts. In weaving these ancient teachings with our modern digital practices, we find that the essence of maintaining a strong, authentic connection in the time of social media isn't about grand gestures. Instead, it's found in the everyday efforts to understand, communicate, and appreciate our loved ones beyond the digital veil. As we navigate through likes and shares, let us not forget that at the heart of every pixelated expression of affection lies the timeless art of love, waiting to be rekindled and cherished.